Hi again. Well, it's me again. I'm going to do another Grojo for you. This time, because it's raining outside, I've picked some willow. Now this is our willows here. It's special basket weaving willow. But most wild willow will do this, all but something called crack willow. You need to loosen the willow up first. Get it turned over like that. So it's flexible. Good willow you can actually lace your boots with. Then you would like to have yourself a nice willow stick like this. Five thin willows, one even thinner willow, light amongst the others and turn it round and round and round. So you're actually trapping your first stick, right? It's going round. I'm also twisting the willow at the same time. For some reason it seems to bend a lot better if you do that. Ah, there you go. Now what I'm going to do is take it around my thumb once, twice, and then back in through. If I can. There we go. There. This is green willow. This is very fresh. I have only cut it a couple of minutes ago. And then I'm going to pull it tight. It should lock in on itself. And there, look at that. That works a treat. Take my secateurs. Snippy, snippy. By the way, my able assistant today is not my daughter, it's actually Daniel. He's doing well and then you want to make them into a, like a very messy octopus so you turn them all over like that yeah and here's the easy part take these out these make it look confusing right you take one and you take it over two one goes over two nice and tight the last one you went over goes over the next two. The last one over the next two. Next one over the next two. Then over the next two. And keep on going like that. Now, Hello. usually we would speed it all up. Today I'm not going to, so I'm just going to go over like that. Over like that. This willow isn't perfect for doing this. Should have been soaked first. However, I haven't had time to do anything. Over it goes. Over it goes, like that. Now, I'm going to start coming out now. So instead of going over two willows, I'll go over one willow and leave it next to it. Go over one willow and leave it next to it. One willow and leave it next to it. One willow and leave it next to it one willow and leave it next to it one willow and leave it next to it like that and it's making it come out it's enlarging the whole of the weave this by the way is called a dolly weave it's to do with corn dollies okay i'm going out and out and out and out and out all the while Best not to stand too close to anybody when you do this. Do tend to fling it out rather. Now there's two things you can do at this point. You can make it into a Christmas decoration, put a carrot inside, give it to your rabbit to chew to bits, or you can do like I'm doing and just keep going round and round and round. And this will be a bird feeder. So then you need to keep going like that all the way up until it's large enough to get one of the fat balls to sit inside it yeah keep going sometimes it's easier to work I tied it up with the thick ends at the bottom sometimes it's easier with the thin ends at the bottom 
but I find that a little bit difficult to get started with because the thin ends tend to be a little bit of a problem. So you're making a shape that looks roughly like that. And then when you get your last one, because I'm not going any further on this, tuck it in underneath. And that then, with a piece of string, you can hang it from a tree in the garden, put some peanuts or a fat ball inside it, and you've got yourself a bird feeder. Trim all the ends off, keep going at this. Eventually you can do like we've done, and we've made Christmas angels and all sorts. Christmas angel is an enormous long body like this, and then we weave some wings to put on the back. All made out of willow, all free. Just the price I like. So trim off all the ends. You can even do it with a pair of scissors if you've not got second ears. And that, a piece of string will hang up in your tree in the garden. You can watch all little birds eat for Christmas. Okay, that's the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching.